As many of you know, Demon Fall is set to come out on July 10th, so to celebrate that, I got a little guide for you for the different families and which breathings you should probably go for for each family. I also have some pre-recorded video of me actually playing the game, you know, I might do a little something, something with that. If you guys want to see it, let me know down in the comment section below. But anyways, let's get into it. Alright, so the first family that we got is the Kamado family. And because this is the protagonist's family, it is the rarest family in the game right now. So right off the bat, you start off with 20% experience boost. You start off with Dance of the Fire God, which I said in my last Demon Fall guide is broken when you combo it with water. And you can also learn the Sun Breathing much easier. So if you choose to become a demon as a Kamado, as your family, you gain resistance to the sun. So right off the bat, I can probably see this is the family that most of you will try to get, but you'll end up wasting all of your spins. You'll end up like with, with a trash family. In terms of breathing, I would say, of course, obviously water, but I feel like you can use any, really any breathing with Kamado, because I'm pretty sure you'll still have Dance of the Fire God. So no matter what you combo with, combo it with, you're still gonna slap niggas up with it regardless. So I would say Kamado is probably the best family that you can get. But it's also the rarest, like I said. So yeah, you can use it with any breathing, I would say. But I would say primarily go with water. Alright, so the next family that we got is Tomioka. So Tomioka, it is it's one of the rare. It's I think it's like four percent rarity. Um so you start off with lunge and shoulder bash. And you can also learn the water eleventh form, which is the uh the nagi. There is no experience boost with Tomioka. It's just those, you know, the lunge and the shoulder bash and the 11th form so with tomioka i would say if you're going to use tomioka use water breathing just because of the 11th form really that's i think that's the only breathing that it's good for so if you're going to use tomioka use water breathing water breathing would be best for you all right so the next family we have on the list is the shinazugawa family so with this one you have 25 percent faster stomach drain you have 25% faster health regen. And you can also use your scent to attract demons if you aren't a demon, of course. So with this one, I would say the best breathing is obviously wind to go to match it with. But I would say you can probably use this family with any breathing. You can pair this with any breathing, really. He, he's the wind Hashira, if you don't know. But yeah, I would say you can use this with any breathing. Alright, so the next family that we got is the Himejima family, and that is the family of the Rock Hashira. And with this family, you get a plus 20 health buff. You start off with the see-through world, but you have a permanent blind injury. So with this one, since Rock breathing isn't in the game yet, I would say you can, you can, you basically use this family with any breathing. You can pair it with any breathing. Alright, next. We got the Rengoku family, which I'm sure many of you know belongs to the current Flame Hashira. So with the Rengoku family, you have uh, plus 20 flames damage when you pair it with the flame breathing. You also get the flame breathing ninth form, which is Rengoku. So obviously the best breathing to use with Rengoku is the flame breathing. And I feel like that might be the only breathing that it can pair up with because of the uh, the damage boost it gives having Rengoku when you have the flame breathing the the 20% the damage boost it gives is very nice when it comes to PvP so I would say if you have Rengoku go flame breathing all right so the next family we got is the Tokito family and that is the current mist pillar so with the Tokito family you get a 10% experience boost you get the mist seventh form and as a demon, you can learn the moon breathing. I, I feel like the only breathing you should go with is mist if you have Tokito, but you can pair it with the other breathings, but it won't be as effective. So if you have Tokito, go for mist breathing. Mist breathing is the best breathing for you. All right, so the next family that we got on the list is the Ubayashiki family. And that is the current leader of the, uh, the demon slayer, you know, the, the blind guy that we see at the end of the season one. So with this family, you get two stat points to begin with. You get a 10% experience boost, but you have a permanent burn injury. So like a scar across your face, you can't get rid of that when you're creating your character. 
So this family, you can use any breathing with this family. It doesn't really matter because it doesn't boost any of the damages or anything like that with any of the breathings. So the Ubayashiki family, you can use any, any breathing. All right, so the next family on the list is the Igido family. And the Igido family is the family of the snake pillar. So with the Igido family, you get, you start off with dash mastery and you get plus two walk speed over all the buffs that you get. So with this one, since snake breathing isn't in the game yet, I would say this is another one that you can pair up with any breathing. This is another family you can pair up with any breathing. It doesn't really matter. All right, so the next family we got is the Kanyurochi family. And this is the family of the love pillar. So with this family, you get a 20% damage buff on everything. Um, the love breathing is not in the game. So again, uh, this is another family that you can pair up with any breathing. It doesn't matter, at least until they add the love breathing in there. Next, we have the Kocho family, which is the family of the insect pillar. So with this family, the only buff that it gives you is that you, you can poison anyone that close range attacks you. That's about it. Until they add insect breathing in it, you can use it with any breathing. It doesn't really matter. All right, so the next family we got on the list is the Agatsuma family. So obviously, that's Zenitsu's family. So with this one, this family, you at a down state, you can enter a 45 second berserk state. And that gives you 50% damage increase and uh, I, I believe it gives you 20% of your health back. So basically, you get a, a second chance. You get a second life after you get knocked. All right, so obviously, if you have the Agatsuma family, lightning breathing is what you have to go for, but you can use it with any other breathing if you want to. I would just say you'd be real disrespectful if you didn't use lightning breathing and you got Agatsuma. I cannot lie. If I see you in game with Agatsuma and you don't have lightning breathing, I'm gonna have to slap you up. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to do it. All right, so the last family that I'm gonna present to you guys today is the Hashibura family, and that is Inosuke's family. So the beast breathing isn't in the game yet. So this is a family that you can pair up with any breathing as of right now. So when you have the boar head on, it gives you a boar head when you have the family that you can uh, equip. So when you have it on, you have a negative 10 stomach drain, but you have a you have a, a, a plus 10 percent health in increase or health regeneration i should say so yeah like i said you can pair this up with any breathing until the beast breathing comes out if you get any other uh family that i haven't mentioned on here then you're basically a side character and you should go kill yourself no i'm joking don't do that but yeah you probably want to i don't know spend some robux and respin if you get any of the other families or it just maybe that they haven't added any buffs for that family i don't know i just know that you're a side character